649 on TMJ4 News today. Now to a TMJ4 News exclusive. In a few hours, Wisconsin's three major sports teams are going to announce a new partnership with Microsoft to fund minority startup companies and entrepreneurs in an effort to affect social change. Yeah, Vince, I, and I would follow up. Uh, we're all in privileged positions, and I think with that comes a responsibility. And, um, you know, we're not going to back down from that. You know, there's a long history of sports uh, standing up and speaking speaking up for those that don't have a voice. In my exclusive interview with the presidents of the Packers, Brewers and Bucks all said their players and organizations have been looking for ways to do more than just contribute to local nonprofits. Equity League will launch today. We brought you this story exclusively on TMJ4 News this morning. I wanted to bring in Mark Cass, editor in chief of the Milwaukee Business Journal, who has some reporting up on this story as well now this morning, getting some thoughts on this new initiative. Mark, first, let's talk about barriers for entrepreneurs in the black and Latinx communities in particular, whom this initiative seeks to help. What are those challenges that you see in those folks gaining access to funding that, uh, you know, will help them grow? Right. I mean, this is a big issue, and it's one that's been, been been really kind of in the spotlight over the last few months. And and it's really the word you use, and that's access. You hear over and over again, you know, not knowing who to talk to, not having access to these people who have the money, and really trying to have this to, to really have things up and running. So this is a big deal to have these three sports teams who really who who have money, who have the prestige, who have the spotlight to have to help them is really going to be a big deal took a lot for me to try to wrap my mind around the financial complexities of this, Mark. Can you break it down a little bit? We talk about this being like an investment fund. So this isn't going to just be the organizations. They're going to go out and bring in other partners through this, right? Correct. Yeah. I mean, really what it is, is, is I mean, it's a fund in that, you know, entrepreneurs and startups and others will be able to ask them for money. We'll show them what they're working on. We'll try to grow. We'll kind of work with each other. It's also some expertise, Vince. It's, you know, not every entrepreneur who's starting knows everything about it. So maybe some expertise with this is, you know, working with something who's existing, who knows how to work is really, really important. So, I mean, it's a, it's just another way to really kind of move this forward. You know, the thing again, it's access. The access is so important. Looking at the why behind all of this, Mark, Milwaukee Business Journal, you've been reporting on a number of other local companies who yep. have taken sort of these equity initiatives in the business community, trying to do kind of what we're talking about here. Yeah, I mean, this is a big deal. Over, over the past few months, you've seen it through from actually from uh, Northwestern Mutual, $20 million. You've seen it from Pfizer earlier this year. They're all seeing what's going on. It's all a result of this kind of spotlight that's on this issue right now. You know, over the past few years, we've kind of heard about it. We've kind of talked about it. But now this is in the action stage. So really to see kind of this third one that's come out and with some big names, you know, these are the you know sports players are always in the spotlight. People see that, you know, have the money and are able to help. I think it's just about access again. I think Microsoft, too. Uh, you know, I spoke with the president of Microsoft, who's an yep. Appleton native. That connection certainly helps as well in terms of legitimacy. It does. And already having experience here in Wisconsin, they've done some great work up in Green Bay with Title Town Tech. You know, and plus the national exposure. I mean, this is from what I've been told, it's not just here in Wisconsin, it's gonna be nationally. So this is a thing that can really kind of help these firms really kind of start going, try to find customers, kind of really try to grow and, and really have experience with others who have already done it. Mark, appreciate your expertise and look forward to more of your reporting on this story as well today. And for more information on the Equity League, including my full unedited interview with all of these real important people, and we'll throw Mark Cass in there too. Hey, come on. That's our special section of our website, tmj4.com.